And now the waiting and hoping is over. After 25 years, a significant break in the case of Rosemary Diaz. Who broke the story last night. 25 years to the day after her disappearance, investigators unearthed her remains. All these years, Rosemary Diaz's sisters kept their maiden name. They wanted Rosemary to be able to find them if she ever were to return home. It's clear they never gave up on finding her alive. Authorities discovered Rosemary's remains in a shallow grave about six miles from the store where she disappeared in 1990. It was just the third dig of the backhoe, according to Equisearch's Tim Miller. And I said, oh my God, it's Rosemary's mind. The ring she got for her quinceanera, one of the first things they found. Every one of us cried. And that wasn't our first cry. Tears from the family, too held back only by hope over the last quarter century. My heart just fell and I just knew that it was her, not the outcome we were hoping for, but it was just not knowing all these years. Not knowing weighed heavily on the Diaz family. They wondered what became of Rosemary, if she ever grew into the young woman she wanted to be. Can you help me explain to those who never had the chance what she was like she was, she was um, a vibrant, um, um, uh, full of energy, full of life, 15-year-old um, who wanted to, she already knew she wanted to be a teacher. She knew she wanted to work with kids. Investigators now believed she was kidnapped and murdered, buried in a shallow grave, which they found after a niece of Frank Merlos Rodriguez Jr.'s reached out to one of Rosemary's relatives through Facebook. Her information would lead Rodriguez to become the primary focus of the investigation. You understand you're not in any trouble for any crimes that Frank committed, okay? You're not gonna go to jail. I'm not gonna arrest you for any crimes that Frank committed. As investigators interviewed his closest family, they realized why no one ever came forward years ago with information about Rosemary. They say Frank was verbally and physically abusive toward his wife. But anyway, if I say that, I will be dead too. On video, his wife, Margarita Torres Rodriguez, denied what she initially told investigators. According to police reports dating back to their first interview in October of 2015, she described her husband as very violent and controlling and said he drank a lot. If somebody doesn't know your whole story, I just think just a regular person, just a mean person, and didn't say it just because you were selfish. I think they might think that. But if they know your whole story, I feel like I know a little bit about you. I think it's more understanding. And you don't deserve to go to jail. Yeah, but you keep it inside you. If you keep it inside you, don't you make you cute? Well, a lot of that has to do between you and God. You've had to answer to God over all of this. And ultimately, we all do. She told detectives about an incident in 1990 when he said he took a girl hunting and that she wouldn't listen. So he hurt her and that she didn't deserve that. Margarita also told investigators about a time she remembers when she saw him take all the carpets out of his truck. She said she didn't know why he did that. Because of the abusive nature of their marriage, she lamented, she didn't question him. Investigators pressed her anyway. I'm not gonna go away, okay? Because I have a little girl. And if this ever happened to my little girl, I'm gonna want the answers. She'd feared for her own safety. One time, she said, Frank hit her so hard in the head, she temporarily lost hearing in one ear. I should have wanted the police when Frank told me. I heard a girl, and you know, when, when he said that he took the, the girl over there, I should have wanted the police to tell me, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be dead too. Racked with guilt, Margarita attempted suicide about a year after Rosemary disappeared. You and you just feel like you don't have no hope. And some days they just like you fray and you can't even do nothing. I mean, if I go to jail, I mean, if I have to pay the price for all that stuff, 
I know I did wrong, Daddy. Tell nobody. It was months after Frank Rodriguez's death from cancer in June of 2015 that his niece came forward, offering the info her aunt, Frank's wife, had shared so long ago. She said her family pressured her to stay quiet. Don't say anything because it's going to hurt you. Just keep going to church and pray that one day God change him. Prosecutors say they are not currently looking at any charges against anyone in the Rodriguez family. By the time authorities figured all of this out, Frank Rodriguez was dead. It was too late to charge him.